Hello fellow YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to be explaining how I rigged up a uh, dual freewheel rear axle uh, drive system for a homemade uh, chain driven, gear box driven bicycle. Okay, so what I have here is the normal freewheel which normally sits on the right hand side of this threaded rear axle of course like a black on black here so it's hard to see but this is a special rear axle and then it's threaded on the other side now normally what you would do is there would be a thread system over here that's intended for use with a adapter to put on a rear disc brake but instead you can simply thread on a normal single gear freewheel however as you might expect there is a problem with this and the problem is because the freewheel is driving in this direction and the threads are clockwise the drive is anti-clockwise this leads to the freewheel that would be used for your chain drive on the left hand side of the rear axle to one on thread so you have two ways around this the first is what I adopted and I used a permanent thread locker glue and after carefully cleaning the threads on the rear axle hub assembly here and on the threads inside the freewheel here I threaded this on applied the glue to the threads as I threaded it in and waited a full 24 hours for the glue to harden and believe it or not I have been riding a bicycle with a chain driven motor similar to this this one's only 250 watts the one I'm using is 450 watts same gear ratio 9.78 to 1 chain driven through a small chain on this gear here to this freewheel I've been able to drive that oops, using a small speed speed controller such as this made in China and a spring-loaded hand controlled throttle here hooked up to the motor through this simple three-wire connector and this bracket which comes with the electric motor mounts on the frame rear frame of the bicycle with these saddle clamps provided now these only soft aluminum so with stress you probably want to change these to something a little more durable although so far I've gotten away with using these soft aluminum threaded saddle clamps around the bike frame which mount on these two holes here, here, here and here. Sorry about the black on black production here. Anyways, if you want more information uh, just send me a note and I can try to explain in more detail how this works. Bye for now.